We're now ready to begin the Louisville Press Conference. We're joined by Louisville coach Mike Pagese, student athletes Malik Williams and Jarrett West. We're gonna ask coach for an opening statement and then we'll take questions from the media. Um, just wanna say how extremely proud I am of the two guys sitting right next to me, our captains and Team 108 for persevering and enduring, enduring um, more than any other team has had to endure all year. Um, all I ever wanted when the transition happened was for our guys to run through the tape, to finish strong, to give it everything they had, and that's exactly what they did, evidenced by our performance tonight. Uh, credit to UVA for getting, edging out a close win, but I thought our guys played well enough to win. Uh, unfortunately, they were one point better tonight, but, man, you know, I'm an interim coach here, and uh, quite honestly, these guys picked me up um, throughout the whole season when I, was in, when I wasn't always sure how to help them. Um, we had some rocky times, no doubt, but I won't remember that as much as I'll remember these guys standing tall and fighting and persevering in one of the toughest seasons, one of the toughest seasons, not just basketball, one of the toughest seasons in life that they've had and may ever have. And I want to thank them. I want to thank them for that, in particular these two guys right here and the rest of our guys as well. We're going to start to the right of the room here. Malik, for you, um, you know, this is the end of a, a pretty long chapter of your life. Just wonder kind of what's going through your mind and, and, and your emotions right now. No, I don't really know yet. Hasn't really set in, but you no. Know, I enjoyed Louisville, and they made me into a man. I learned a lot, I grew a lot, and you know, I'm more than grateful for, you know, choosing the University of Louisville in 2017, and you know, sticking with it through all of the tough times, and you know, everything that I've been through in my career. You know, and this year was one of the toughest for many of reasons, but um, just sticking through it, but you know, I'm. I'm in a tough spot right now, but at the end of the day, I'm I'm good because you know I gave him my all, and you know I tried, and it wasn't the finish that I wanted, but you know I played with my heart out. If you have a question, please raise your hand, and we'll get a microphone to you. If you have a question via Zoom, please use the raise hand function. Ready to go to the back of the room, uh, Mike. For you, just you talked about it before, but you know how difficult was it to go through just this season and this this transition and. You know, now that it is over, you know, can you really put into words what it was like to go through this? Uh, not just yet, to be quite honest. I, again, I'm just really happy for our young men. You know, as, as an assistant coach, even you understand the responsibility of supporting your student athletes and your young men and helping them get something out of every day. Um, you know, giving them everything that you have, that you've learned throughout the course of your playing career and coaching career and giving them as many answers as you possibly can. And I had to step up and do that in the role of a head coach. And I, I know I wasn't always perfect, but I, I gave it my all. And I'm just grateful to the guys that they hung with me and the staff. I've learned so much from our players and our staff. And I can only hope to be an even better coach going forward because of this, this transition in this season. I'm gonna go to the writer room. Mike, they get a they get a layup pretty late. There's a you know a travel. There's a couple plays. Does it feel? Is it almost harder? You guys were so close. I mean, it's a play here or there in this one. Yeah, it's a play here or there. Um, you know, of course, I'm biased, and I think that we get hit. You know, and we don't get it. But I'm not um, I'm not gonna hang this on the officiating. I thought the officials did a a solid job. Um, you know, if you ask me to look at every game, I can give you calls that I thought didn't go our way, but. I'm just more so proud of our guys for competing and hanging right in there. I thought we executed our game plan to a T. Like, if, if you ever want to know how you go about guarding Virginia's offense, their block and move it. Like, you watch this game and you take their example. And for that, I'm just elated because, you know, these guys log 30-plus minutes yesterday and then they come out tonight and they perform at their very best on a defensive end against a team that makes you play deep into, deep into the shot clock. And our coaching staff challenged these guys to concentrate for 30 seconds every possession, and that's exactly what they did. I had a feeling it would be a first to 50 game. They got there a few seconds before we did. Let me go to the writing room here. Malik, you kind of said it's, it's hard to kind of process this being the end, and, and this has been a, a definitely a tough second half of the season for you. Why do you think this second half of the season was so tough for you? Uh, 
I don't really know. We didn't go back to the right of the room. Uh, for Malik and, and Jared both, obviously you guys are, are moving on. What do you hope for the guys who are coming back? What do you hope for this program moving forward? Jared, can you take that question first and then Malik? Yeah, um, I just hope that, uh, you know, the younger guys and the guys coming back, that they really uh, just really embrace the opportunity that they have and enjoy everything that they have, you know. It goes by really fast. Um, obviously, Malik, fifth-year guy. I'm a fifth-year guy. I would have never thought at this point in my career, you know, I never thought that this, this day was going to come. But, uh, you know, I just I hope that they really understand, like, how to, how – how fast it goes by and the opportunity that they have. And I just hope that they really enjoy it. And as for this program, you know, I hope it gets back to the standard, you know, where, where it's been throughout their history and the tradition that they have. I hope it gets back to that point. So, and I hope that the guys, some guys in that locker room um, have a play in that and have a part in that. So, you know, I, I just, we got, a, there's some good young guys in there and I just hope that they embrace the opportunity and, and really enjoy what they have. Yeah, I think he hit it right on the nose. Just embracing opportunity. I mean, I just mentioned it to him shortly, but just embracing the grind from day one, you know, and you know, enjoying this, you know, taking it moment by moment and just processing, really processing everything that goes on and just all of the things like that. And, you know, I would really tell him, you know, to take what Jared brought for us all year. Um, it probably goes understated, you know, what he did for this team. He brought it every day at really tough times. You know, me and him talked plenty of times throughout this season, and it was difficult for us. And, you know, for him to come in every day, be that same guy, be the leader that we needed, you know, when I was out or, you know, all of the things that I was going through, Jerry remained the same guy. And that's what I would say to, you know, anybody in our locker room and anybody in, every, in any other locker room. You know, you want a guy like Jerry West on your team. You know, he, he's a great guy off the court, on the court. You know, he has faith in himself, you know, in others. And this is the people that – this is the type of guy that you need on your team. And I would tell anybody to just, you know, follow his playbook. Just stay focused. Bring it every day. And even when you don't got it, you got to still bring it to that table. And our last question will come to the right of the room here. Mike, you've been fully in invested in, in this and, and for several years. Do you even know what's what's next for you? Have you even be, been able to even begin that kind of process? I haven't. Um, quite honestly, I'm not the best multitasker. And uh, I had no ambition whatsoever to dive into anything other than steadying the ship and helping these guys and giving them everything I had to try to finish this season the right way. I haven't taken one second to invest in what's next for me. And it's going to be hard to turn the page. It's going to be really hard. But I have to. We all have to. These guys have to as seniors. They have to uh, finish up strong academically, um, get, you know, finish their master's degrees, their undergraduate degrees. And, and, you know, hopefully throughout their careers, I would like to think that they put themselves in great position to advance their lives, whether it be on or off the court. Um, I know a lot of people in Louisville are proud of these guys and the effort that they put in. And, um, you know, as our coaching staff told everybody in that locker room, we're here for you. You know, whether we're here or not, we don't have to be here at Louisville to support these guys in any way, shape, or form. And um, as far as our staff, I can only hope that we all land on our feet. Uh, it's a lot of good men in that locker room, uh, from our strength coach to our academic advisor to our assistant coaches, our support staff. It's a lot of good people in that locker room that not only do a really good job, but they're really good people. And uh, I can only hope that all of us land where we would like to land and, and have an opportunity to keep doing what we love. Perfect. Thanks so much, guys.